PWM is like flicking a switch on and off rapidly but cleverly wiring how long it's on versus off. To keep this thing simple and logical, let's break down the entire PWM generator into three main blocks. First up, the triangular wave generator. Think of this as the heartbeat of the whole system. It continuously creates a voltage that rises and falls. Basically a triangular wave. And this wave will be the reference for creating a PWM signal. Next is the comparator. It takes in the triangular wave from the first block and the modulating input signal from the third block. If the input signal is higher than the triangular wave at any point, the output of the comparator goes high. If not, it goes low. And just like that, we have generated a PWM waveform. The third block ensures the PWM accurately reflects our input voltage.